asking hundreds of dollars for a sprinkling system only to be told you have to pay more if you actually want to be able to turn it on. <laughs> yeah, it sounds strange, doesn't it? A Linden woman says a sprinkler control box is holding her hostage and as our Matt Gephar began digging, he found out she's not alone. Yeah, that's true. Heidi Mark, we've heard a lot of complaints about this one. It's a smart watering system. Here it is. It's called SkyDrop. On SkyDrop's website, it boasts they can keep tabs on temperature and storms and adjust your sprinklers accordingly. No hassle for you at all. All these bells and whistles came with a one-time purchase for the system until now. This is SkyDrop. Five years ago, Neela Wooten invested in a smart sprinkler oh, system called SkyDrop. Upfront cost was all that we had to pay. How much was this up front? I think it's around $250. So this is not a cheap system. Oh no, not at all. Not cheap, but Neela says it was worth it. She was able to control her sprinklers from her phone or computer and take advantage of all the bells and whistles that SkyDrop's system offered. That was until earlier this month. I had no control over my uh, system at all. That's right, Neela has been locked out of her system. She can't access it remotely, and she can't access it at the panel itself. That is, unless she wants to pay a new $1.99 per month fee. I paid a lot of money to start with. Why should I start paying them now to use the system that I already paid for? Neela says she reached out to SkyDrop to find out why she's now being billed to use their system, but nobody responded. So she decided it was time to call me. I thought they were ripping me off. Nobody from SkyDrop responded to any of our phone calls or emails, so we stopped by their American Fork corporate headquarters. What we found, it's been abandoned. We were able to find some answers on the company's website, which says that, quote, due to increased costs, it has become necessary for SkyDrop to implement a monthly service fee. They say they have cut back on staff, are volunteering their time, and hope that asking customers to pay the, quote, minimal fee will allow the company to stay in business. As for Neela, she has dropped SkyDrop and purchased a different, less expensive sprinkler system she can actually control. At least my lawn's getting watered now. SkyDrop says on its website that the troubles began when their weather date a partner was sold to a new company, and that new company jacked up costs. If you got something you want me to investigate, give me a call. My number, 801-839-1250, or you can email me, gephardt at kutv.tv.